another motherfucking vlog bloody sunday vlog it's super boat day yeah so we got a couple things we got to do we did online shopping at walmart if you guys never have done it it's pretty simple and straightforward come along with us today we're gonna go right now to go get our groceries that we ordered online and we'll show you <laughs> anyway so yeah come along guys bye come and follow us all right guys so we're here at walmart outside of Walmart so they have like the, these little stations that you park at they yellow and Walmart's over there behind yeah, us yeah I'm here for my pickup I'm in the uh, lane 10 but yeah so Jose is calling you call this number that's like right there you call a Juan and, Zion. and then you get the um give me your name and all that stuff and then bring out your order but you give them your your number where you're at Okay, thank you. How long do you think of the wait? Okay, 2025? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Because they're busy today because... Super Bowl. Super Bowl. And then they have like cleaned up cars. So there's like 12 of these. And then there's um, on the other side on the back. So you just, they open your trunk and they start putting your stuff in there. Over here, Mr. Grunchy. He's grumpy today. No, I'm not. He's I'm like, not he's grumpy. He's Why like, am I grumpy? throwing a fit. Why? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. What a weird thing. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. a lazy bum. See, there you go. You got an expression for him. Okay. Hi. Name on your order? One. Alright, so maybe right there. Look, there's, there's people right here. They bring out your thing like that. See, they start packing your shit in the trunk. You just tell him, yeah, sure, put it in the trunk where you can help him or whatever. Anyways, back to the store over here. Oh my gosh, I am over it. I am over it. He's a sensitive hoe. Yes, I am a sensitive hoe. Because I have feelings and I feel. What? Sentimental. I'm a bear goat, duh. When you have your ass, the underwear up your ass, that's why. <laughs> and then you smell it and you sniff it? No. Why? What the hell are you saying? What? God. You can relate? Can no, you I relate? cannot relate. Can you relate? No. Or you I should can't. be able to relate. Well, I'm not relating to that. So we had to get off because we forgot to get them some stuff. So what are you trying to find? They forgot to include some of our stuff, so we had to get off. Well, they didn't forget, but we forgot to add it to our list. So we're looking to see if we can find it. What else are you grabbing, Juan? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, you're the one wanting the deep fryer. Or, yeah. uh, uh, air fryer. Quanta Walmart shower. No. <laughs> he loves I think this because that's what, this is, we're making healthy tortillas. Yeah. And he loves... Can loved, you tell I like 20 inches on my waist? I can actually. You look like Talia now. I know. But, uh, A ver, do you like how Talia does it? People aren't used to seeing a camera follow Juan around. But Juan's a celebrity now. Oh my gosh, look how cute it looks on you. You should get it. Right. <laughs> it's the new Prada. <laughs> the Lanyo. Like kick Roxy snakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shit. We found our snake. They have everything for Valentine's Day. We'll want to find what he's trying to find. Ooh. Wow. They're nice. What is he trying to find? Pressure cooker and the air fry crisp. This is one, one for ninja. <laughs> is it ninja? Wow. Well, don't you have a ninja already? Yeah. Oh. Are we gonna be one? 
this one or this one or that one? Whichever, that's the trick. I don't know. This is the one that's over there for $39. $39? Uh, $79. Oh. Yeah, so we got And then this is $19. Is that one more badass? It looks pretty nice. And then we have this one. Ooh. That one air fryer. That's a badass looking This one's the one that's more badass. Oh, look at that one. It looks like a little microwave. Yeah. You can do a lot of stuff in there, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure how it works, but yeah. Ooh, look at that one. I want that one. Do you want that one? It's 169. I don't care. You better do what it's good to do in. Air fryer, roaster, boiler, toaster, dehydrator, oven. One of the kind of protection? Yeah, I don't want to protect oh. Better buy a new one. So it's 205. Okay. Oh. Insert cash or select and type. Insert cash. What up here? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Did you like your oven? Yeah. Or, or whatever air it's fryer. called, air fryer. It's badass. Uh, we're gonna air fry some freaking chicken and bacon in there. Hell yeah. Are you excited for that? That's a question. Guys, I'm driving without my license. My wallet. I forgot it at home. I forgot my phone at home. You forgot everything at home. I have to make sure I drive. Careful. Careful. Well, your next car, guess what? You're gonna have to pay it off in three years, not five. Uh, can you afford paying it in three years? Yes, of course. How? Uh, obviously, you um, you can. We'll see. You'll Three see. years paying yes. off a car. Yes. Well, what car are you gonna get? You're the one that's gonna get a car, not me. Well, I don't know if I'm getting a Mercedes or a Range Rover. Range Rover. But we're gonna have to. It's really hard to choose. I still haven't <laughs> driven a Range Rover. I drove a Mercedes, but. Now, how'd you feel in the Mercedes? I felt really good. Next time you ride it, we're gonna have to vlog it. Because right. I. I even felt badass, even though I was a passenger. It was like it felt like I could I could feel how smooth the road felt, um, the drive, the music in there, like the sound system was like, oh fuck, this car is amazing. I'm gonna be bumping it on that car. <laughs> the Range Rover also has nice, a nice sound system. Yeah. But I think I don't know. I might if I get the Range Rover, I'll probably end up getting the Velar. The Velar. You feel like you're flying. The lar. I like that red one, the red with black. That one's really, that one's really nice. Yeah. I mean, the all black, all black is nice too, but. If you get it, are you gonna get it um, like from Seattle? Or are you Probably. Gonna... I would need to go on the search. Because they don't really have some here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go across the, across the state. And they could probably deliver it without like, putting miles in. We got our groceries completed, all done. We didn't even have to go to the store to get all this stuff. It's awesome, I love it. Cause time. Saves you time. And then here we have the famous air fryer. Look you guys. So, on display you can't really see it, but look, see it goes, sorry. It goes down like that. So, it's ready to cook. And then when you don't, you're not gonna use it to get more space, you do this. Sorry, it has the cable in the back, so pardon me. You pull this over here this way, and then you lift it up. There you go. There you go. And it sits right there. So now we got all this counter space that was taken when you when it comes down. And then the way you clean it, you just bring this down and you clean all this right here. So this is where the crumbs fall, right here. All right here, the crumbs fall. And then this is the stuff. 
the heaters or the air fryers in the machine right there. But yeah, you guys, it's Ninja. And we, and we ain't getting paid for promotion. Anyways, we're gonna start cooking our food for lunch and dinner. We've been meal prepping um, for about almost three weeks now. Um, Cause we've been eating healthier. Look at Jose, he's so skinny. He's like almost disappearing. Look, you can tell because look, he has a flat ass. That's the first thing that go in. And my face, and it looks skinny. All right, you guys, so I want to share um, a little meal prep that we're gonna be doing today. Um, it's called the chili chicken breast wrap and bacon. So it's really delicious. Um, we're gonna put it in our new air fryer and see how it turns on. So um, follow us and how to make this. So first of all, gotta get some chicken breast. Um, this portion is gonna make about uh, six servings. It only has uh, 275 calories, which from them are uh, fats, so just 9.5 grams. Uh, carbs, you only get one uh, 1.3 grams of carbs and you get about four uh, grams of protein, so it's really good. It's healthy fats, none of those saturated, unsaturated fats, so it's really delicious. And then we're gonna accompany it with uh, steamed vegetables. I might fast forward this, okay? That way you are not watching the whole crowd. Yeah, kind of lame. So come on, try it. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, sorry I'm holding down that, but um, sometimes the uh, chicken comes with fat tissue, which I like to take it off. It's your option if you want to keep it in, but my option, I like to keep it out. So Jose is going to start making the seasoning that we're going to season the chickens with. Um, we're going to coat it with that, and then we're going to wrap it with bacon. I forgot to mention bacon. You can get um, bacon of your preference. I got this type of bacon, okay? Hey okay, you guys, so before we get started, I just want to show you here what we have. Um, so we have paprika, and you need about, if you're making for six slices, um, but we're making nine, slices so it kind of doubled it so for you need a uh, half uh, one teaspoon of paprika you need one to uh, one teaspoon of uh, tarragon if you're making six pieces remember this is for I'm telling you for six pieces um, and then you need parsley you need uh, one ta uh, one teaspoon of parsley or the two 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 teas two tablespoons of parsley um, minced garlic about three minced garlics, and then two jalapenos right here. And then the salt and pepper is in the middle, which that one is to your preference. Um, you can be, you know, depending on how much salt you want to put, depending on how much, uh, oh my God, what the name, what the heck, pepper, there you go, black yeah. pepper you want to put in there, okay. Um, try to find the ones that are in the store, if you can find them, the ones that are already sliced. Um, that way you don't have to like slice them and save your time But if you want if you don't care then you can get the whole chicken breast and then slice them up So it's your preference, okay bacon it can be any type of bacon as long as you know It's bacon one slice per chicken breast and you're just gonna wrap them up and what I use is Toothpicks to kind of pull them together. Yeah One thing I forgot to mention too all those ingredients you're gonna mix into a bowl. It's kind of chunky but that's how it is because the chicken is wet so it's gonna kind of like what it make it like wet it out and stuff like that so it smells really good you can smell the paprika in here paprika is really strong Guys, now it's gonna go into air fryer. You wanna show it? Look, you guys, don't they look beautiful? Well, the tax very together. Sorry, excuse me, you guys. I apologize for that. Air fried or baked or whatever at for 35 minutes at a temperature of 390 degrees. All right, so we're also making another dish, but this is our first time making it, so we're not gonna kind of like. Let you guys know how to make it because we never made it. So once we're gonna, once we give it a try and you can see how it goes, then we can kind of like show you guys, if, you know, how to make it and all that stuff. And people recommend it. Yeah, but he's making. It's called. Let me see. It's jalapeno. called a uh, jalapeno beef pot roast. All right, you guys. So 
they are done. I forgot to record once they came out of the oven. Um, I totally spaced out, but anyway, so here they are. They look amazing, guys. Oh, heck yeah. And that's usually what we eat for lunch, like, um, we, like for this week. There's like, you can see the chicken right there. But anyways, I had a little piece because there's a piece that didn't get wrapped because it was really tiny. But anyways, it's nice and spicy with that bacon. Mm. I do recommend getting a, I'm gonna say I'm an air, air dryer or whatever. Yeah, air dryer. Yeah, so this air is fryer. air fryer. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know, I'm new to this, you guys. I'm new to this, so. No, but wow, I made chocolate chip cookies. Put that out. So now it's time to put them in what? Air fryer. Yay! So anyways, they're healthy, they're good. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try them out and to show the final product. So I'm now I'm gonna kind of like dough them up into like little balls so we can put them into the air fryer with that. Put them, up. You're gonna make them into a ball first? No. Yeah, you do. Dirty. Watch, watch. I'm gonna do mine and look at his. Watch, okay? It don't matter because Wa be Watch, you guys, watch, you guys, watch. It don't matter. Gonna... We will see. Okay, you guys. So, as I was making my own, like I said, Jose over here started copying my way because he's like, mm. You're artistic, Juan. Stop it. It has nothing to do with yeah, art, art, like whatever. Like he's like, oh yeah, you just grab a spoon and you just do this, and I'm like, oh hell no, that's not what I do my cookies. So, watch. So now we're gonna put them in the oven for 12, 10 to 12 minutes, okay? But we still have to do two sheets because there's still more um, cookie dough. Left. All right, so the cookies are done. I burn them outside to get it to, to get them cold, like cool down really quick because it's cold outside. There you go, right there. Mmm, yum. I like them crisp. I like them like, like that. And they're kind of like brownish because of the almond flour. It's a little bit dark, so it's give them like a brown uh, color. And no, they're not burnt, but they're still soft. They're getting cool. Ah, see, it's still hot. Mmm, but it smells so good. So yeah. With that being said. That completes three meals today. Um, well, this one, the cookies, is a meal. And then the pot roast that Jose has in the oven still. It's still not done and it's being cooked. And then the uh, the chicken breast that we wrapped in bacon. Those are good, so yeah. So Jose's um, pot roast is done. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. It smells like weird, but I don't know. He says it tastes good. Damn, it's bomb. <laughs> It's really good. I wish I could have it with potatoes. It's bomb because he made it supposedly. Taste it. Look. Like like. mm. I wish I could have potato with it. Tastes like pot roast. Really. Okay. Tastes like pot roast. I wish you can't have a little bit of potato, but we can't really have pot roast. Oh. Yeah. You can make a sub for uh, what's it called? You can't have a, like a, a boiled potato at all. Just no, because one? it's a carb. Oh. Please eat it because it's fucking delicious. Oh, let me just go ahead and show you guys. This is what the brush We can have carrots. And it's actually isn't, carrot. it, isn't it supposed to be more, more tender than this? Well, I don't know, but it's done. You can, you can I, I can leave it in the oven longer. I would assume it part of it is really tender. This one's not so tender. It, it tastes like it's done. Well, my question is, what do you think about the taste, not the tenderness of it or anything like that? How does it taste? Sweet. It has a really good flavor, Juan. That's what I'm trying to get at here. I think it's so really good. It has a really good taste. Um, How do you make it tender? I don't know. I mean, that's the way the recipe calls. They call the recipe. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. You're supposed to hit the meat to make it tender. Yeah. So, I mean, I can leave it longer in there. Does it make it tender if you keep, keep it on low? I think. I don't know. Ah, fuck. 
fucking focus. <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm so <laughs> Hey, J Balvin. Hey, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, they had it. That's a yeah. right there. There was no safety. Zero. 